assuming <laughs> high. Back with another update. Just wanted to show a couple of new things I got today. There's one of them right there. You can tell what it is. It is a kind of rail, a pretty rail, koi, koi gorse. It is a green laser koi. I got, I was able to get two of them. There's one of them. The other one is right there laying in a plant, a head in a plant. Okay. What I did, I traded. Well, there's several I want to be in this, but there he is. You can see the stripe on him. There's both of them. But yeah, I traded a uh, pistol grommer. The big female Placo and the uh, male Bristol Placo, I mean Vega. The female, let me get that straight, my bad. I traded the female Bristol I had, the biggest one. The male King Vega I had. And the um, Episco for the two Koi, koi Cats. You can see that one right there. You see the striping on him. You see his stripe really good. I'm pretty sure they're green lasers and not orange lasers. Or it could be the orange lasers. I'm not real sure. I've seen Bob's or Crockett's. Or Kayla Crockett's. My bad. There's the young one. I seen the one uh, Bob from Kalo Quartz has. And I always thought they were neat. I ran across them a few weeks ago at the place I got them from and had a bunch and the only, again, think he had any left. I seen one, getting turned around, seen the, another one. And he had one more. But they, you know, like you know, they are expensive, so I was only able to get two of them right now. There's both of them. They got a little splits in the gorsers, but they heal up. I think there's some angel fish in one of them. Yeah. Really like these coys. And I don't know why. I figure out when all these snails been here, if you look, it looks like they've been eating on cucumber. I'm not a cucumber. Shrimp wafers. I think that shrimp wafer they've been eating on right there. You can see how many snails there is there. Looks like a lot. And looks like they've been eating a cu um, shrimp wafer. I don't know why I keep saying cucumber. We got shrimp wafer. I put in a lot of snot for the placos and catfish. But yeah. They eventually will get all egg up by those snails out like there. But these snails, I don't know what they're doing. That one's been like that all day today. Been upside down just like that. That one too. You see how he's upside down. The gold one. The gold mystery snail. He was like that yesterday too, but then he moved. Both of them like that. And if you look back there, that big purple one right there is doing the same thing. Sat in one spot. And that one right there has been sat in that one spot. I don't know if there's several got on scale because he bites at them. Or what? They're alive. It's like sitting like that. You see I got a bunch of little ones still. There's one. There's one. Yeah, y'all hungry, ain't y'all? 
There's my little lesser blue Jack Dempsey. It's actually been swimming around more since I cooked a Pisco Grama, a Cockatooie, whatever you want to call it, out in the bay out. He actually been swimming out more. And when I cook a bear out, yesterday he was out there around that sponge filter and the bear went over there and grabbed him by the head. And apparently the king bear's got a big mouth because he was able to grab the top of his head and sling him around. So yeah. And I think that bear might have ate my smaller rise bar because I had six. Now all I find is five. There's two of them. There's five of them. I think that's all five of them in this picture right now. But give us, you can see you got a little, there's one that's a little bit smaller. Down there, we got a little bit smaller one with a Jack Gimps yet. I think I had one a little bit smaller than that, and it disappeared. So I'm thinking the bacon might have done it. And here's, my Severon. He's funny. He's scared of his own poop. Every time he poops, he sees it. He spins around and around and around and around trying to get it. I don't know why he goes out. He just goes. Yeah. It's not a green, a normal green, it's a turquoise, if you ever heard of a turquoise. Oh, I seen a nice Severon today. That I like, but it was way bigger than him, it was basically full grown. It could be probably about eight inches or so. And I didn't want to get it, get it pick on the one I already got. Or any of the other ones I got in here. Ooh. You can still see the one shrimp I have, the ghost shrimp. Eating on whatever that is on the sponge. So, yeah. There's my male rainbow fish. And I think I got another little male because one of the smaller ones loves chasing the other ones. I have four of the rainbow neo, neon rainbows. Four, yeah. Four. And I still got the one fella fin left. All the other ones didn't make it. I actually have seen that one eat. So that's a good thing. But yeah. And I still have my Achilles. Those are all Gogan one Achilles. I got two of them. There's one. That one's back there. And you see all the leaves floating around. That kind of get them out more comes. I think they're coming from this plant these plants like this. Can you see how the green leaves are turning brown looking? It's gonna melt. I guess that's what melt back does. The red ones look gonna look too bad, but yeah, the green ones is falling off of them. You see on this one how they look, but yeah, you see one of my hopalos hiding in his cave. Since I cooked a big female placo out, he cooked over the cave right there. The only one likes this cave, but he just ain't in it right now. There's one of the little koi cats. They look green lasers or orange lasers. I'm pretty sure they green lasers though. So I got two of those. There's one of my cal calico bristle nose, at least. That's why I bought them as calico. Sometimes they look just dark like that. Then they got look like a brownish color. 
calico color. I think that little one there is a male because probably won't be able to see on video, but you can kind of see like little pointing things on his face. And Savon wants to say hey. You can see like little pointing things on his face coming up. Yeah, that was my own one right there. That's my own calico one. That one actually grows a little bit bigger than the younger one. Got some kind of little pointy things on his cheeks. Fair focus. You can kind of see them. I don't know what they are. Then you know I got the green dragon one. Which she loves hiding. Pretty sure it's a female. Because she has no bristles and she grows a lot since I got her. And I still have my spotted bristle nose. I mean not bristle nose, sorry, Placo. It's like you can see there's a little white spots through the bag of sponge. I asked the guy where I got him from because he remember what kind he was. He said he know he's not really sure the type, but he said it, it is from Peru. He knew it was from Peru, but that's all he could remember. He said he was going to ask the guy tomorrow how the guy must be coming in and he gets them from. And to find out to see what kind it is but I do know it's from Peru but it's very very skittish that's both the coys you see the stripes on them they did have some bigger ones the first time I seen them a few weeks ago I'll give us a few bigger ones but he had these two little ones and one more smaller one. That one right there with a bright scrap is pretty nice. But that one's nice too. He just needs to uh, fatten up a little bit. They skate together though. Like that, see, you see a little pointing things on his by his mouth. I don't know if that means it's a male or not. You see a lot of coloration on his belly. He actually grows pretty good bit. Yeah, but I'm thinking the Sauron got all my snail scale because he likes biting at them. At night, they move more. And it seems like since I could got a bit of female bristle nose out, my little ones is out more. That one, that one's sitting right there. That's the only one. She got what she was just mean. Every time I fed them and got a little one tried to eat, she would run and run them off and wouldn't let them have no food. Won't it all over to herself. And I wasn't having a, I had these little baby ones too long a lot longer than I had her. And she was just a plain bristle nose. Well, I think some calico in her. That's why I was cold. But these little calicos I paid a little bit more for. And I've been raising them. And I get one of them harmed or killed. I got lost my cheese creek ones months ago from Play, bigger plakers I had. So I guess I have it with a two calicos, a little green dragon, and a little spy one. The little spy one is just skate here. He's back there. Matter of fact, you can see his tail. Severon says, hey. What are you doing, buddy? A guard. I'm not sure. Very pretty, though. But, yeah. Move. Yeah, that was his tail. You see his black tail with white spots. I met with um rainbow. I don't know why, but for some reason my rainbows and rice boards last this I go tank. 
this one lights over here by itself. And the big male one lights more in the middle. But all these and right boards lights this side. So goes the little blue, let's the blue Jack Gimpsy. My, me and my mom thinks it's a little female. I forgot I had my YouTube pods. I've been watching some Joey Slay on. And Bob from um, Taylor's Aquatics. I hope your Sharon, your female Sharon gets Bella. She's a very pretty fish. I had one spotted red spot Sharon a few years ago. And he was pretty. He wasn't as big as the one as you got, but he was sure was bigger than this one I have now. And today I seen a full grown Alexa Blue car. Very pretty. And it was only 40 bucks. And which that was a pretty good gift because he wants $30 for the small ones, about three or four inch ones. And he only wanted $10 more for a full grown one. It was about six inches, I want to say. Because they don't get real big to start with. There he is, up in the plant. They like these plants. They've been going back and forth across the top up here. I'm trying to figure out what my own hoplo. Oh, okay. He's right back there, if you can see him in the background back there. I still have the two um, bumblebee gobies in here. But they love hiding. They stayed back there and behind the um, driftwood. You can see a strike now on that one. And that one. Pretty cool catfish. I love catfish. What's wrong, buggy? What are you running for, huh? What are you doing? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have the gorses out a little real. They would like that when I got them, I guess. But, yeah. But yeah, there they are. So yeah. So if you like a video, please comment and like down below and subscribe if you're new. And Thanks for watching, and God bless.